Hello and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2. We are playing Imperial Germany in the 1900 start. It is 1942 and in a rare occasion we are not at war. But the next war is looming, probably this time with the foremost... Oh, let me... don't let me lie. No, it's actually no longer the foremost naval power. That is the US. But still with like the arch nemesis of the German Navy that is the Royal Na the British Royal Navy, but we'll have to see. So for now we have a naval treaty that is prohibiting any submarines and is limiting ships to 12,000 tons displacement and 10 inch um, caliber. So basically a uh, kind of heavy cruiser. Um, we are currently building a couple of them and they are currently getting finished. So we will have to see what to do. We also have to check on whether we want to upgrade some of the ships further. Um, but I think any ship that is worth upgrading is upgraded already. I think at least. What is this, is this like? Yeah, probably. I mean, those those old cruisers are only for commerce raiding or um, for colonial protection. So in that case, they won't be used. And the um, other ships here are for defense of the fleet and some destroyers. They are modernized, but as we can see, 41. They all have 41 or even 42 here. Um, so they are modernized. The carriers are also modernized. If war comes, the naval treaty will fall immediately. So we can prepare for that. And um, at first we should in, um, increase the the air bases wherever we can I guess because if it actually comes to war with either France or Great Britain they will be of great use uh, I don't think we need bases somewhere else like in the Mediterranean bigger ones because the um, if the Royal Navy is our enemy the war will I can't weaken uh, Germany's forces in Northern Europe as the British have a significantly bigger fleet or at least in, in, in some areas until I had some naval battles and defeated them I can't uh, weaken the Northern fleet and so all the time in between the Mediterranean will be rather weakened because I, I rather um, not split up the forces and lose them and if it's war with Russia the war will be fought in the north in northern Europe anyways so there, it doesn't make any point what I just realized is that I still have airships it is 42 and so I think it's it's about time that we can scrap them um, they are just costing like what is it 706 that should be like let's see yeah that is costing us the maintenance basically of one aircraft carrier. Uh, do we have another one? No. What is costing me then in naval aircraft? Probably the, the recon planes on the ships that aren't in the list. Something like that, I guess, at least. So, um, yeah, let's uh, just continue. I don't think see there is anything else we need to do. Uh, we could design a new ship. But the problem is, I don't really need much more heavy cruisers. And um, I don't need... M I could probably construct a new modern light cruiser, but even those are only like three years old. The development hasn't progressed that far. And um, I have quintuple torpedo mounts. I guess I could construct some new destroyers for that. But um, I would love to wait until I have two and a half thousand tons as limit which for now I don't have. Um, I could probably increase that to high. AP bombs and turn that to medium. I don't know what else could we change. Fire control seems to be like having reached the maximum anyways. Ship design seems also low. Let's go down with ship design for now until we've reached something here. Because just increasing obviously doesn't help if I decrease something. So the Philippines are independent now. That is by sig 
by the way, that is an event that comes in this era. Like I might start something around 35 and you have no choice. So you will get the message that your government has granted independence to someone. So the heavy cruisers are being finished. A new torpedo bomber is being offered faster, s much smaller range, much smaller range, tougher though. Hmm. Much more firepower, much more maneuverable. Yeah, let's actually take that. Um, we could, in theory, like manually decide which ones to put on which ship. And probably if we, if we are at war, we should make sure that the, the land bases have the longer range one. But I think the range of um, like the medium range of 200, no, it's just, no, it's not finished yet. Okay. But um, a medium range is usually not that big of a problem as my carriers are rather operating fairly close to the enemy anyways. So he wants more ships, okay. Oh yeah, and I wanted to mothball the cruisers, or at least put them into reserve fleet. And internal upheaval, do I don't care. They shall have northern North Korea, or northern Korea. Airborne radar, airborne. So that should mean that my planes are more effective in night attacks, I guess. New medium bomber, same speed, same range, same toughness. What is what is different? Oh, reliability is higher. Yes, please. Um, cruisers. I wanted to mothball them, which I probably can't. But let's see. Let's see whether the government allows me to mothball them. It, it does. Okay, and we need to to increase the uh, airfields. Again, I think 100 was the limit. Circular AA screen, light, whatever. Let's see. That's it. Research breakthrough, perfect. Okay. Missile stuff, I put that on low immediately because it, it's not implemented yet in the game, so it doesn't make a difference. Um, near misses from glide bombing have a chance to being converted to torpedo hits. That is a really nice development. So let's go back and put those into medium. That into medium as well and probably that back up. Can't hurt to have them stronger. And war with Britain is about to start. So let's develop the new destroyer. Um, yeah, that looks better now. <laughs> Five inch, and we want obviously the biggest one possible. Normal, optimized on speed. They are dual purpose, please. Five inch is fine. We can give them five torpedo tubes, uh, quintuple, I think the name quadruple sets let's see whether we can add another one okay it will reduce the rate of fire so we can probably add what was it three three i think was the biggest one we can have on the side of the ship let's try with four whether that works yeah three is the limit so we can um, now still have 36 tons left those are dual purpose. That is fine as well. Um, AA, we can switch to heavier AA. It's more effective and weighs more. It's still 32 tons left. Could increase the gun, um, the ammunition, I guess. Or I might add some 3 inch dual purpose guns, NDA, anti aircraft. Uh, Okay, still too much. Let's go up here. 13 tons. Yeah, looks fine. I think that is a decent design. We now have a broadside of 13 torpedoes that we can shoot. 
oh, we could read, yeah, we need to increase the, the anti-submarine capabilities. That's more important. So let's go down here again. And we are in surplus. That's perfect, three tons. Okay, um, anyone watching who wants the name to be named after him? Uh, the ship to be named after him? I think I'm seeing skittles here. Do we, we honor one of my most active viewers by naming a whole, whole class of him. That is more honor than anyone else has received. So if, you, and if you're watching this on YouTube and you want a destroyer class to be named after you, just um, come over to Twitch. You find me on twitch.tv slash Inclutus and you can join the conversation there and maybe have a ship named after you that sinks really fast. Okay, that is done. We are approaching war. Do we need to do anything? I mean, we have the money. We could probably activate the, um, yeah. I could activate the fleet or probably even better give the carriers some uh, airplanes already so they are trained. What are they, two torpedo bombers? Yeah, it's okay, I guess. So this, because finally I can afford it, at least for now. Go for the win, Japan. Yeah, we can afford some, uh, well, yeah, we can afford it. More accuracy, even better. A new fighter, okay, let's see. Much faster, bigger range, more firepower, more maneuver. Oh, it's significantly better in every way. Yes, please. Okay, the skid deals has been developed. So let's build a metric arsenal on them. Twenty four for now. Um, 400 is the limit. We need to make sure that our funds stay below half of the yearly budget because after that there's the risk that they reduce our budget uh, because they say w we have too much of it. So I can, what is it, explain. I can increase budget for prestige. I could do that. I could just have increased budget or I f could I increase, yeah, you know what, let's go for it. We wholeheartedly agree with the Kaiser. So unfortunately, I don't see the new um, private venture yet. So I will have to spend the money to develop the second one, just to make sure it's better or it's um, make sure it is, it is competitive. So fast, we want a fast one. This is really fast. Um, long range would also be nice. That would be this one. The, it's only three knots in difference. Firepower is equal. Maneuverability is almost equal. Toughness is a little lower. Okay, so 100. But longer range means I can have longer um, combat air patrol. So I think I should take that one. Ooh, <laughs> that looks like a war against Russia in England. Well, let's see. New docks, okay. Okay, so what are we, we should negotiate an agreement. Yeah, why not with the French? I don't think it will work. But if it works, the French can actually help us. Nice, that's nice. And six inch dual purpose now. Okay, good. Junkers, um, same speed, same range. More firepower, more maneuverable. Nice, take it. Okay, now this, this looks dangerous. <laughs> um, should we probably activate them? I don't know. Um, I mean, they are fair, it's not that horrible. Carriers doesn't really matter. Let's check on the flight crews. They are still poor, okay. Ah, oh, whatever. We are asked, okay. 
Um, okay, so I guess we are at war now, because the only thing to avoid it is would be to give up prestige and um, budget, but I'm not going to do that. The only question is, am I going for Russia or going actually going for Britain? Um, I mean, we haven't fought Britain yet, and in the end, it's a game where I want to some challenges too. And so far, every war has been a win, uh, victory. So let's actually go for Britain. Let's go to war. Auto loader, six inch guns, nice. And there we are. We decline because we don't, we haven't mobilized our fleet yet. And now that is done. Okay, and we are in six million deficit which means as soon as those are finished we won't have any deficit anymore perfect okay yeah and we need the planes on uh, in the naval stations that will also cost a lot but let's see i think the budget is okay-ish those are going into trade protection as well and i think i'm going to use the 1500s as well for that and that's more than enough. Okay, air groups, roads we won't, but Wilhelmshaven, Auto Ed, Emden, Kiel. Okay, so I can I change the aircraft type? Number, roll? No, I can't. Okay, so apparently it, it auto decides Benghazi. No, Benghazi we didn't want to. That was a mistake. Wienemünde, Kolberg, Honda, Danzig, and Pillau. Mm. Rodos, nope. Okay, looks fine. Budget hasn't increased by that much. Um, can we increase the basis? Yes, we can. Then let's do that. And we can design a new ship as well. Um, I guess we should probably design an aircraft carrier, but we should, for RPG reasons, I guess we should design at least two or three super heavy battleships just to have them. Let's see what we could do with a battleship at 70,000 tons. Um, 17, 18. It's minus one, that is a little um, less than optimal. 20,000, it's 12, 2 and 4, 2. 12, 2 and 4, uh, the um, deck penetration goes up. But does it go up enough? 12, 2, 4, 2, it doesn't seem to make that much of a difference. Oh well, let's see. So 70,500 tons is the biggest we can make it. Let's see what we could get. Six inch auto loader dual purpose, obviously, and as many of them as possible. Those would be five inch double dual purpose then, also as many as possible. more fire control turrets would have to get more armor like can we give it like six inch belt uh, 15 belt turrets 15 and a half turret top seven that seems insanely armored oh it wasn't even the highest okay that still works only eight guns though I prefer more than eight guns. Um, probably, yeah, 20, 20 inches, probably too much. Okay, 18 inch would work. Only downside is that it's th uh, a minus one, 35, 600. So it's shooting faster, uh, further. 
let's see, 11, 9, 3, 4, at 20. 11, 9, 3, 4. So um, the belt penetration is higher on the 17 inch because it's of a better quality, but the deck penetration is higher on the 18 inch because it has more weight, obviously. The question is how far will the fighting distances be? Let's see, at 35, it's six. It's fixed here to 6.5, okay. 6.5, let's see here. Okay, so it's lower here. On the other hand, if we go down to 17, we have a lot more weight to play with. Uh, let's go 18, let's go big. Has two flight pl float planes, we can put that to four, why not? And increase the uh, anti-air to as much as we possibly can because there's enough weight for this left. Okay, that looks like quite a decent design. Apart from that, it's insanely expensive. Oh, not that much actually. Yeah, let's develop it. I mean, development costs a little bit, but not that much. 50 million. You can still decide whether or not to build it. Okay, um, we are at war with Britain. We are not blockaded. How is the naval situation? Fifth. So they are slightly stronger than me, which means an invasion of Ireland is out of the question. Um, yeah, let's wait. They are activated. Anything else I wanted to do? Probably should set a few of them in trade protection so they hunt down radars. And um, set those. Why not all of them? Because they are weaker, right? But they have planes, so they would be more efficient trade uh, commerce, com commerce radars. Let's do this. Let's set them all to radar. Um, first of all, only in Northern Europe, because then they still count as a fleet in Northern Europe. But after a naval battle or two, I will probably spread them out further. So let's uh, go for it. More AP penetration, new torpedo bomber, um, auto the second has hit a mine, not good. My commerce radar sink, uh, sink a lot of ships, that's good. Convoy attack, we accept. So the first battle against the British. <laughs> Only with destroyers, okay. Speed up. Unknown radar contact. So we are now at night, but we are having radar now. Okay. Um, I want you to send in the light forces. And you're just charging in yourself. Go to full speed. We are going to sink some of them, but with it being a convoy, it shouldn't be. Wait, no, there is the convoy. Those are the um, the um, combat. Uh, that is, those are the escorts. So we should actually try to avoid them and break through th to the um, to the convoy to make the most of it. We should have our two required sinkings pretty soon. We l we are losing one DD. That is fine. As said, they are being used in expendable roles, and um, probably they are, they have done some damage here, which I don't even follow. I don't care too much about it. Uh, whatever that means. Okay. You maybe go up here. Wait, he looks kind of broken. Okay, he is. Well, 
plan to try to survive, my friend, uh, and just go south. Funny thing is that for the first time now the French will be on our side. Unfortunately, they hardly have any fleet left because I killed all of their ships. I sunk all of their ships. <laughs> Little prob I probably should have tried to get another ally than the only one, who, than one of the two that doesn't have a fleet anymore. Thanks to me. In, in retrospect, that probably wasn't the wisest choice to ch to take um, France. So okay, uh, w one of our DD blows DDs blows up. So we have lost, I guess, at least two of them. But I said, I mean, that shouldn't be a big issue if I sink enough um, of his transport ships. And I'm currently building a lot of new destroyers, and I still have a lot of them. I, I probably one of the biggest destroyer fleets, I guess. Actually, yes, only the Americans have more, and after I've, I've finished building them, I will have the biggest fleet in the world and the biggest corvette fleet and they are s restarting production of submarines okay oh well let's see okay just going for the rest of the transports now And they are both sinking, I guess, <laughs> next to each other. Where is that brisk? Here. Okay. Well, so I guess I sunk two of his destroyers as well, which is nice. After having um, sunk a lot of transports, let's check on them. Six five inch, that is weaker than mine, 1500 only, and only six torpedo tubes. So they are significantly weaker than mine with eight and eight torpedo tubes and 500 tons more. I think that was 1500 tons, if I remember correctly. Good. It's always what you, what I aim for is to, to get the strongest possible um, destroyer, obviously. Or in every class to get a ship stronger than anything the enemy has to show up. So that one is going down. That one is looks like he's going down as well. Um, I think we have sunk enough, enough, and it looks like his escort is strong enough. So let's just order everyone who is still able to to do uh, some knots to move away. Yeah, that one is is like stationary or sinking, sinking. Okay. Yeah, never mind. So the the destroyer fleet has been pretty much eaten up by his escorts, but I think I should be fine. In, uh, I think that should still be a victory because of the big number of transport ships that were sunk. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Take up some uh, survivors to for extra points. Oh, that one. Oh, well, that might not end that well. But never mind. I don't care that much. And even if if I should if this should be considered a loss, it wouldn't matter that much because the war isn't decided by those small engagements where you can make 5,000 points. It's rather decided in one of the big fleet battles where you can make 50,000 points in one go, or lose 50,000. But we're now fighting the British, which is, which is really fun, because they are the ones that have um, the weakness as a national trait. Surprising weakness, I think. So their ships will occasionally blow up under fire. I had one battle in the past in another game, I think seven, seven of their battleships or, or maybe eight blew up within just a couple of minutes. That is really satisfying. If you go into a battle and see them superior and then suddenly left, and right, left right and center their battleships blow up. Okay, it says sunk. 
Can you guy you go down too? So maybe we are going to s wait. Why is he only going two knots? Oh, he's a hundred percent damage, but he can do ten. According, no, he can't. Limited to two. Okay. Oh well. Now let's wait out. Attack, bomb hit. Oh, Newport, that should be French then. Right, nice. That is nice. So the French are of use to something in this war. Well, I take it. Okay. Okay. I have no idea what that is, but apparently it still progresses. I'll turn on the turn off the <laughs> the sound so you don't have to listen to that beeping, <laughs> and um, hope that it it will be solved somehow. Wait, I am selecting. Can I like pause it? Why can't I pause it? I think it's like because I selected that unit and it has sunk or something like that. God damn it, that's annoying. Okay, is the time still progressing? It is. So we see on the left side things still <laughs> progressing. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> Having to click away all those, those uh, messages permanently. Yeah. Guys, developers, if you see that, that would be awesome if you could turn that off. Because that's kind of, uh, well, challenging. <laughs> Luckily, at least they disappear when I hit the, um, the enter key. And let's just hope. Okay. So if I keep it pushed, they don't appear, but the time continues. So hopefully in a few we are reaching the 500. Come on war. End. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can we like go faster? Yes, we can. Ooh. Okay, that worked. Nice. So I'm sorry, I have no idea what that is, apparently, but occasionally that happens, unfortunately. Wait, if I go down, can I like select that and maybe stop it this way? No, I can't. That might actually be the motor torpedo boat bug that was in the past. Like if you had a motor torpedo boat somewhere, it would spam mistake messages error messages and um, you couldn't continue but I have no idea what that is well let's hope I can somehow continue and don't have to cancel the video this way that would be rather sad god damn it that's annoying I hope you can't hear the permanent peep beeping. Move aircraft procedure. Okay. I have no idea what that is. Can I even continue now? Okay, I can. Time is still progressing. Can we please finish that battle? Um. Come on. Okay, we were able to 
go back to ultra fast. It's going a little faster now. I just hope you, ca you can't hear that beeping because it's annoying as... It's really annoying. Okay, we, I think it is it one half, 150% one, uh, of the time limit when it ends? No, it isn't. It's twice that much? I don't know. I have no idea why the game doesn't end. We are far over the limit. We are at ultra fast, so the, the units are at a distance where they shouldn't uh, engage anymore. I have to check. If it doesn't finish um, when we reach 1000... No, I can't save it. I don't think I can save it with the, um, with the messages coming. Because I tried to pause it and that didn't work either. So let's just hope it'll finish now when we reach 1000 minutes. Yes, it worked. It worked. Nice. Whew. <laughs> God damn it. That was annoying as hell. Okay, so we finished this. The only question is, should we... I guess I should probably restart the game just to make sure. Um, luckily, with that game, it doesn't take that long. Just a second. Okay. It immediately gave me accept, um, access violation and more of them. Why the hell? The game isn't even running and it's giving me access violation messages. Let's try that again. Okay, now it worked. Mm. Come on. There it is. Perfect. So hopefully we can continue without molesting error messages. Sorry for that. Um, so the first battle was a victory. I have no idea how many ships I lost because I wasn't able to see the message. But they lost three DDs. Okay. Um, I probably, I don't know, sunk ships somewhere here among the 2,000 ton thingies. Yeah, but I lost a lot of them in the past as well. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't care that much. Um, okay. I think we just continue. Nobody's blockaded, neither me nor him. Um, submarines building doesn't make that much sense because they take ages to finish and I'm short on budget uh, and i rather build two of those new battleships oxygen fuel torpedoes Th so those are much stronger but they increase the risk of blowing up the ship um, they are on when they, they are hit so that is always a question whether you want to use them um, allows BBs to screen CVs okay increases cap effectiveness that's nice new modern radars and even better cap better invasion capability or everything's nice Okay, um, Japan has stolen something. Yeah, that's not good. Let's hope we can keep the Russians out of the war. Um, we we lose one of the modern cruisers to a mine. Our radars do a lot of damage. And the British are already suffering food shortages because of that. That's really nice. And there it is, the fleet battle we were waiting for. Let's go. Jutland. It's even the position of Jutland, I think. We attack enemy ships in general. Now it's getting interesting. Okay, yep. That looks like a full-blown fleet battle. Okay, um, his battle cruiser, can we have it follow? Yes, it can follow. Okay, that's a lot of ships to choose from. Let's first look at the order of battle. So we have the carrier force separately, and we have carriers in that force as well. So that is force, what is it, yeah, 15, and that is 19, so 19 follow 15 please, 
And 21 follow 19, yes, okay. I don't think he was able to follow anyone. Um, yeah, there are, I think there are two over each other again. Yes, there are, okay. Um, more units over each other? Not, I don't like, I don't like that. Um, 23, you follow 23. You follow 34. And those are the 25, but at least now there are 25 knots after the modernization. So that was absolutely worth it. And those are separate. Battle Cruiser 39. Can we have you follow? I don't know. No, he's part of the... Okay. Yeah, screen the carriers were... Oh. Hmm. No, I don't think we need them to be screened. It's daylight, right? How long? How much more time? Three uh, more hours of daylight, yeah. You are going to go attack them. Um, let's just start now. Okay, the scout planes start, and we should have sightings pretty soon, and can should be able to launch the first airstrikes pretty soon. So not exactly a, c a completely accurate Jutland then. And I hope with a significantly different outcome as well. But I need to spot something first, which so far hasn't been successful. Ah, there it is. Okay. Four battle cruisers spotted. Okay, airstrikes. Um, they are coming down here, I guess, or somewhere around here. So let's just put them here. Um, dive bomber, torpedo bomber, no, too much. Dive bomber, torpedo bomber, uh, strike. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. I don't care about the pilots. Just have them do their job. They're supposed to sink ships not whine about being forced to land at night. Launch strike. Yes. Heavy bomb load. Okay. Oh, wait. Was that everything? I don't think so. I think this one definitely hasn't used his planes yet, all of them. Yes, launch strike. Carrier division, I don't know whether they were used, probably not. Launch strike. Um, they seem to, oh no, they are, they are ordered to leave. Okay, good. Um, continue. Let's go for it. New increase speed, so we close in faster. That is probably a cruiser, a scouting cruiser. soundtrack that the game had such fantastic sounds uh, oh yeah the new cruisers are also engaging nice the 10 inch gun should be useful even though the, their armor is a little bit of a concern they are a little too weakly armored let's check we are hitting their cruisers already probably their fire control isn't up to uh, the task okay so they have three more 10 inch guns um, despite being smaller, three and a half, one and a half armor. Let's check mine. I think mine are significantly better armored. Yeah. 
even though I don't know whether that uh, difference from three and a half to five inch makes such a big difference because the guns are more than powerful enough to to um, punch through it anyways so that's, I'm not sure about that how useful this is let's increase speed while we close in enemy aircraft are already attacking okay there come the battleships we are fly we are going against the wind so let's turn out a little with those so the smoke doesn't become an issue and you guys can increase speed as well are you at for top speed yes you are good okay, so what is this are they being hit yes damn it oh well um, cap. Heavy. And one ship blows up. One of mine, unfortunately. Yeah, but I mean, the cruisers are not supposed to fight battleships. They aren't even battle cruisers, they are just regular cruisers, so yeah. Let's hope we can at least pay it back. Let's see the revenge class 8 16 inch that's good armament 12 and a half and 5 inch that's a strong ship so we have nine and i think even a little weaker armor hmm. guys even shooting no they aren't god damn it close in those few cru battle cruisers are not supposed to take the brunt of the fighting i should probably have them run away for now to get out of range until the rest of the fleet arrives the um, british have a stronger battle cruiser force so in that regard i can't trade one for one Jakob von Kite, and so James Keith is sinking. Not good. Two of the new battle, uh, two of the new heavy cruisers already sunk. Okay, enemy aircraft are tracking again. Where are my aircraft? Okay, these are the strikes going on. Um, you guys are looking kind of close. Would you mind, like, I don't know, moving away here? That is 26. And that is 29. Can you follow? Okay, that's 26 again. Can you follow 26? And you are supposed to go here. And you please go here. Okay, please attack something and don't go anywhere else. Yes, that looks good. Do your job. Still no torpedo hits. I don't know whether I have bomb hits, but on battleships they aren't that decisive anyways. And you are a little too close for comfort. I mean if he's if if I have a battle cruiser at this distance to his whole fleet, um, that might not end too well. Can't keep up. Okay, detacher. Campbelltown has been hit. Camper down. Camper down. Okay, good. First torpedo. And of course, uh, an ancient one, but at least a well ar well armed ancient one. So it's taking that one out is useful, anyways. 
good. Um, yeah. Just run away, please. And he's hit again. Carriers are attacked. Phaeton has been hit. I want you to attack the battleships, that would be nice. And ideally one that isn't sinking already. So, I don't know. Maybe go here. Launch. should probably have the dive bombers attack uh, cruisers or something like that. That would probably be a better use for them. <coughs> okay. And um, I don't know, I can send in the light forces. Was that here? Battle cruiser division. These here. Where is my battle? Will and the second once again in the front line? Okay. Here they are. Please send in the light forces. But this time he doesn't look like he's about to sink, which he usually does. Like, looking like it. We are achieving a lot of hits on like this here, what is it, 10, 16 inch, that's strong and a decent armor. The British have pretty good battleships and so far only one cruiser of mine has blown up and none of their battleships. So yeah, could you guys like... This is something I, that's really annoying. It seems to me that the very moment they launch planes, they go back into... They are actually here. They are in the middle of the fight. God damn it. The moment they launch planes... Friedrich will in the second. So my battleship blows up. Okay. Yeah. I, I have no idea how I can force those guys to move away. They turn into the wind all the time to pick up planes and after that they immediately go back and continue in the direction and Otto de Gauss is blown up. Oh shit. How is it possible that my ships blow up? That's supposedly the British to do that. Yeah, next carrier. So I guess there won't this looks kind of like um, a disaster, to be honest. Where are the fucking carriers? And why are they charging in? Here. Here is a carrier. And of course he's going north. Go full speed and run away for fuck's sake. Here. <laughs> He's the furthest to the enemy. Peter Strasser. <laughs> Can't be serious. Another one of my cruisers goes down. I 
mean, we are achieving our fire control works in this regard. If we look at that, it looks like he is being hit far more often than mine. But the results so far, and the carriers doing whatever they want, and which is which is like um, charging the enemy forces. That is what they seem to want. So far, isn't too successful. And I didn't get too many torpedo hits. Uh, from the dive bombers, uh, from the torpedo bombers, despite having so many. That is kind of frustrating as well. Okay, Mecklenburg has been hit by a torpedo, but at least it's the Mecklenburg. I don't know where that came from. Probably air attack. Mecklenburg is one of the old 14 inch guns. So that one is not that um, valuable even though I, I only had 11 battleships to begin with at the beginning of this battle. And I think two have blown up already? Mm, yeah. Not how it's supposed. Can someone please tell me why, why he is charging in again? Go away. I understand that I have to turn into the wind, but the thing is, even if I order them to go away, they love to immediately charge the enemy fleet as soon as they possibly can. Is able to resume, okay, at least something good. That means he'll turn into the wind again at the very first opportunity. You could like run here. Hoa is hit by a torpedo. Okay. Um, I don't know. Turn down here. Is there any carrier left up here? No. What What are those battleships doing up here? <sighs> this is so. F <coughs> No lead formation, independent operation. Yeah, awesome. Fantastic. So they were just going on a joyride, I guess. Still fine. He isn't. Okay, and he's going down. The battle cruiser. Well, at least one problem will be solved after this battle. The question how to name new ships. Because we'll have a lot of ships to replace. Three capital ships lost so far because those guys do whatever they want. Where are the carriers? Somewhere here? I don't know. Yeah, he's, he's charging them again, isn't he? up <laughs> okay um, yeah I guess you can't always win and that's the fortunes of war that have turned decisively against me I mean I could probably have avoided parts of it like by um, controlling every single unit on my own instead of handing them over to the AI with the follow order. I guess I'm stupid to um, trust the game to do what it's supposed to do. And Otto the third seems to be going down as well. Yep, he is. That one is lost. 
no way of rescu rescuing him. Well, then the second, he's still pretty okay. Let's have him turn to the middle. Should probably try to get away now. Um, yeah, Ruprecht would be nice if you wouldn't charge the enemy fleet. That would be really helpful. being hit by another torpedo okay or was it her sister ship that was hit by the other one can't remember uh, okay so we uh, we've taken down two of them at least i don't know i mean it's okay to suffer losses if the enemy suffers it significantly more in the end it's just they are just tools and meant to be used but how many have blown up so far a little too many. Whatever the number is, it is too high. Collingwood, how good are they? Also very strong. Armor is a little on the weak side, but not by far. And at this distance, its, it's deck armor is completely irrelevant. So... It's hit by a torpedo, okay. Where did, did they come from? Where are the carriers? What is the Peter Strasser doing here? And he's he was he's moving north. And here are some too. <laughs> uh. I think I'll need a break from that game afterwards. That's just too frustrating. Could you just fire those, please? Oh, whatever. Charge in. He's insisting. They are insisting on going north. Why? Yeah, yeah, I, I know. They have to take up planes, I guess. At least we are achieving a lot of hits on them. Okay, so Datenkönig avoiding torpedoes. Another cruiser went down. We learned the first is being hit by a torpedo. Yeah, yeah we're charging in far too close. Oh, whatever. I don't care. Uh, yeah, detach it. Turn up. Turn down. Kill that Collingwood. And he, they are launching torpedoes when the other battleships are coming. Okay. Mm hmm That might have been an enemy one, though. This is so frustrating. I don't mind my ships blowing up because of RNG or because I played badly. But ordering something and then having them do whatever they want is kind of frustrating. To stop my frustration, um, we, will, we will just stop it here. Um, usually I just finish a battle, but that might take a lot longer and i rather restart it with um, less frustration on my side and maybe we can even save something from it. As said, in the end it's, it counts down to who, tr who lost more and um, uh, it's still pre-battle. 
so the ships I've lost aren't counted in. If I take um, a, a 1.5 to 1 ratio, well, on battle cruisers it wouldn't work, but like a 1 to 2 ratio, if I'm somehow able to achieve that, it's still a victory. So we'll have to see. Um, I hope uh, my frustration didn't make the experience too badly, too bad. But um, yeah, I hope you still enjoyed it. If you did so, please consider following and subscribing. Um, every one of those episodes is streamed on Twitch, where you can um, follow it and participate. And um, other than that, um, thank you for watching and see you next time.